Hello. I am William Jennings, creator of Thine Own, a computer role-playing game, in cooperation with illustrator Liliana Lasano. This is a nonprofit passion project. I am not looking to make any money on this, but I am looking to continue working on it, hopefully in collaboration with others. And if you like what you see in this video, you can ensure that the project continues uninterrupted by supporting us at patreon.com slash thino. In this video, I do want to communicate the currency of the project, but even more importantly, I want to communicate my vision for the game and hopefully spark the imagination of potential collaborators. So the core of this game, and the system on which everything else is built, is its ecosystem simulation. And what that means is all of the plants and animals have life cycles and behavior cycles that they attend to, and they all interact with each other and their environment in a way that models or attempts to model the way that plants and animals interact in real life, uh, and more specifically in southern England, although I imagine this system will have some application beyond that setting. But before we talk about plants and animals, there are things more fundamental even than them, and that is temperature and water and rain and atmospheric pressure and all that. I am doing my best, I'm no meteorologist, but I'm doing my best to accurately model the climate and weather patterns and weather events that historians and scientists suggest uh, may have occurred in southern England in the 14th century. I'm going to turn on the UI here for a second and turn up the moisture level in the atmosphere. And as you can see, I have a number of visual effects tied to this value. But more importantly is the effect that rain has on the biosphere which includes all plants and animals. For example, this sage plant will benefit tremendously from the rainfall, but if it rains too much, the plant could drown. Water levels will rise, paths may be cut off or created, metal can rust, wood can rot, and people, well, I shouldn't generalize, but speaking of people, let's go ahead and turn the rain off and travel west to Hector's house. There's a little more going on in this scene, and I'll leave it up to you to observe some of it, but I want to draw your attention to the characters who were designed in concept and illustration by the uniquely talented Liliana Lozano. I love a good story, and I love a lot of good stories even more. So the narrative of the Known is told over the course of a year, four seasons, and from potentially many perspectives. This is an RPG after all, so the way you build your character is important, and so are the actions you take and the choices you make. Now, I don't want to say too much on that subject today, but I do want to show you the conversation system, which is presented in a kind of visual novel way, reminiscent of Japanese RPGs. And I think this is our best bet for ensuring the characters have a lot of personality and presence. My experience with 3D modeling is limited to mostly environments and inanimate objects and that kind of thing. And I don't think that I would be able to animate a human being in a way that would um, not creep you out. So let's grab this quest from Hector. Now, I have two more interesting features to show you today. The first one is something I'm calling the focus system, which allows you to engage with any entity in the simulation in its most robust form. When we focus on an object, the rest of the simulation is paused, and we can use all the computing power just in support of this one object. And I don't mean visually. This is where the majority of the action gameplay is going to take place. And because we no longer have to worry about computing the entire ecosystem, we can focus on bringing this particular object to life, which can mean anything from slashing at the object with sword, or covering it with spiders, or just examining it up close to see if it contains any hidden clues. 
Now, the last thing that I want to show you is an example of one such action system. We're going to pop inside Hector's house really quick here and examine his ceramic jug. And I brought a tool with me today to test the stability of this jug. I can position it with my mouse and raise it by clicking. And once I've raised it, I can fine-tune the angle of the swing and smash it to pieces. This system will be the core of many of our action and combat sequences in the game. And I love combos and special moves and Dark Souls as much as the next guy, but I gotta say, one of my goals for this project is to find other applications for action systems beyond murder, <laughs> okay? So I want it to be fun, and fighting in video games is often fun, but despite having traditional RPG attributes like strength and dexterity, um, combat in thine own is often a sign that things have gone horribly wrong. I hope this demonstration has conveyed my love for the project. My sole desire is to wake up every day and work on it. But I am as poor as you can be in this world without being utterly alone. So when I say that any amount helps, I really, really mean it. I don't go out to eat, I don't have a car, I don't do anything except make thine own. So any amount that anybody donates is going right back into this project. Okay, I've said my piece. I was really nervous to put this out there, but now it's done and I feel a lot better. So thank you for watching, and let's do our best. <laughs>